guys, welcome back guys, or welcome to your first time here. I'm Vision here on Brunner Team. I bring you guys in a video. Today me going over some new casting news we got for The Walking Dead. Now if The Walking Dead is something you're interested in, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and hit that bell icon there to miss more Walking Dead news from me moving forward. Now let's begin. So like I said, we got some new casting news regarding The Walking Dead TV series. Now it's been officially confirmed that Michael James Shaw will be playing Mercer from the comics. Now this is a pretty big role. M Mercer is a pretty iconic role from the comics. I wouldn't say is that a huge role like alpha or beta but he's definitely got a big presence within the upcoming commonwealth storyline i put him at like a b level character i wouldn't say he's a level but i wouldn't say he's c level either i would put him like at a mid b level character he's important to the story but not important enough to be like in like the front line of it he's in, he's just kind of you know a supporting character but he has been cast now this is a very interesting casting as usual with The Walking Dead, it's a very unknown actor. I looked him up and the only real thing of significance that I could find on him is that he played um, Corvus Glade. I think that's how you pronounce his name. I probably just butchered it. In the MCU's Avengers Endgame and Infinity War. That's the only real big thing I could find on him. Um, if you know anything else he played in, do let me know. But I haven't found much of him anywhere else. Now... I know that The Walking Dead has a history of doing unknown actors and casting them in their roles. However, this is one I'm kind of nervous about just because there's not much to go off of. And I, I, I just get nervous when you have these actors who have not had a lot of acting experience in coming into these roles and playing this big character that's relatively important. Like I said, he's not like an A-level character, but he still has a level of importance. And when you got an actor who doesn't have like a huge, you know, career and resume of roles that, that he's played in the past, it does make me worry a bit. Now, I know some people might defend him saying that, yeah, he was in the MCU, so he kind of has that big name on his resume but at the same time he played a supporting character Corvus Glade wasn't that big of a character within those movies he was more of a supporting character even in my opinion he was probably more of a C-level character compared to the other characters in the movies just because he didn't really have much lines and when he ever, whenever he really did show up it was very small and minimal it was not like these huge big roles. He was only in there for a few scenes, had a few lines. So I, I that doesn't really give me a lot of hope in regards to this actor. And again, I, I like I always say, I'm willing to give these actors a chance. I'm going to hopefully see some good growth and good character development with this character. But at the same time, it is worrisome. Now, the plus side of Mercer is he is a character who doesn't have a story arc. He's a supporting static character. So there's no character development that needs to go on here. The only real importance is that is for spoiler for anybody who never read the comics. And this isn't like a huge spoiler, but he does end up in a romantic relationship with Princess towards the end of the comics, which really doesn't really need to happen. It was really only showed in the final issue in a flash forward. So like I don't think it's like does it doesn't really need to happen. At the same time I it might happen, it doesn't need to happen. But that's the only like big importance he has in regards to storytelling. Again, he doesn't have any arc. He's just a sto uh supporting character he just stays the same throughout the story other than just helping lead a rebellion he doesn't have that big supporting role that some other characters have so that's one thing i'm a little bit like on the oh i i'm okay with him being well unknown but at the same time i would have liked to have a better a better well-known actor who to play this character like i mentioned i did a a uh, fan casting probably about a year maybe two years ago um and i talked about some actors i would have liked to seen in this role and what i mentioned was shamar moore from colonel minds he was a really good actor i think he would have actually really done a good job in the role and another one was michael beach from the hundred and sons of anarchy i thought he would have been a good role for mercer i feel like they're both better known actors they're lesser known but they're still not that well known so i think they would have been a good fit but at the same time we got uh, michael james shaw 
and I'm going to give him a chance. I do think he does fit the role. I know there are a lot of people saying, yeah, he looks the role. Honestly, I don't care whether, whether or not a character looks like he fits the role looks-wise. I think as long as they're good acting and they pull off a good representation of the character that's all I really care about and I know people argue that's not that's just you need the character to look like the comic character I disagree there's always makeup and you know CGI that they can use to fix that you don't need to have an actor that looks the part Yes, while Shaw does look like he is Mercer, he does look like he can pull off the part, but that's just one part of the character. You need good acting, and that's just something I'm a little worried about since he doesn't have that big of a resume. But at the same time, I'm willing to give him a shot. He looks like he could pull off the role pretty well, looks wise, and I just hope he does the character justice. Again, the Commonwealth story isn't that big of a story. It was kind of mad to mediocre, in my opinion. Mercer, again, doesn't have plays a minimal B level role in this story. He doesn't have much character development next to zero, pretty much. So, again, I'm willing to give him a chance. There's not much he could really screw up here, as long as the writing's good, which kind of has been meh lately. I feel like The Walking Dead has just become stale lately, at least in my opinion. So, at least I'm going to give it a chance. Definitely think he's going to be a good role in the i'm excited for him to be brought in and due to this i'm assuming we're going to get casting com- confirmations in regarding to um uh, pamela milton and her son along with so many other smaller roles within the Commonwealth, like her assistant and that other guy lance whatever his name is they're more like c-level characters they're probably if they're being cast like they're gonna be like literally like D level characters. That's where that's pretty much where they are. I wouldn't even say they're C levels. They, I mean, maybe Lance would be considered a C level, but Max, he's more of a D level character. He doesn't really have a huge importance. They could even probably just throw in a red shirt to fill in his role. Lance, I think they already have him cast because you, I think you can hear him talk in the episode regarding, I think it was Splinter or whatever. He's probably going to mean, he's probably going to maybe have a little bit more of importance, but Max isn't going to be that big of a character. But overall, I'm very, I'm excited to see him being brought to life, Mercer be brought to life in the TV show. Just kind of was hoping we'd get a Bit, a little bit more better known actor, but again, willing to give him a chance. But let me know your thoughts and opinions regarding Michael James Shaw being cast as Mercer in the upcoming Walking Dead season 11 in the comment section down below. So, yeah, guys, those are my thoughts and opinions regarding the casting for Mercer in the upcoming Walking Dead season 11. And as always, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and share. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and hit that bell icon to don't miss any more Walking Dead content from me moving forward. And you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter, which is linked in the about section of my YouTube channel. As always, I've been Vision here on Brand Entertainment, and I'll see you next time.